Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm in the backyard uh, and we're actually going to go over uh, a way to practice chipping distances at your own home. Uh, I'm in my backyard, you can do this inside if you have the space for it. Uh, I happen to like outside just because it's a little bit more uh, accurate to get uh, chipping in, in actual grass and you have a little bit more space to work with than you can use the used to practice longer distances. Um, so what we're going to be using right now is uh, I happen to have uh, a net uh, contraption that I have. I've been using this for years. You can use a, a bucket, you can use uh, maybe like a hula hoop or a ring to put in the grass and you can adjust that as necessary. Um, what I like about my contraption is that it has uh, the ability to, uh, to rotate the ring where if you uh, have it at a, a, a higher angle you can practice a higher chip if you have it a little bit lower angle you can practice a little bit more of a bump and run um, but this is going to be great to practice uh, different distances uh, and get used to that muscle memory that you need uh, where you're on the course you know how far you need to take it back and how hard you need to swing uh, for each of these chips and so uh, something to again remind you uh, remind yourself whenever you're going to chip Always make sure that you have your club in the correct position, the ball fairly in the center of your stance, a little bit smaller of a stance. And then depending on if you want to do a lob shot or a bump and run, you know, either press your arms forward or have them uh, just straight up in the middle of your, of your uh, body. And then because we're practicing different distances, have fun experimenting with how far back you need to take it, with how far open your club face is to get it up in the air, and uh, how fast you need to swing it as well to power through the ball. All of these are going to be different examples that you need to work on, uh, so you can be reminded on the course, uh, because you're going to have all sorts of different situations. You're not going to have just one specific type of chip that you're always going to use. You're always going to have a variety that you need to practice, and so what better way to practice uh, either at home or on the course here. And so, as you can see, I'm about five yards away. I want to get set up, and I'm going to do just a general chip shot. Uh, pretty much everything is going to be in a neutral position here. Just have the club, have the ball in the center of my stance. Club is just set as is normal lie. I'm using a 60 degree wedge here. And because I'm about, only about five yards away, I'm not going to take it very far back. Just back and a gentle brush through. And so with that shot, you should be able to have a consistent feel of how far you need to hit. Uh, and don't be afraid to adjust how far you are away, uh, just for a short or a longer chip. Uh, and always practice all sorts of different shots because you never know what's going to be on the course. So if you have any questions about this drill or any other ways that we can help you practice at home, just leave a comment below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time.